My name is Abhinesh Hada. Uh, I am engineering manager and part of the data platform team in Blinkit. Hi, my name is Sugarsh. I lead the overall data charter in Blinkit. So Blinkit is uh, one of the India's largest quick commerce company. Uh, we deliver uh, groceries, uh, electronics, anything, everything from uh, electronics to other products in less than 15 minutes. Okay, so I'm part of the data platform team. Data platform team uh, has three major responsibilities. First is syncing all kinds of data from different sources to Lake. Second is making different tools and platforms where people can use this data for their use cases, for analytics, for data science, and for powering different use cases. And third is taking care of cost and security controls in the system. I lead the overall data charter in Blinkit, which encompasses your data science charters, your analytics charter, data platform as well as data warehousing. So we basically try to understand what the business is saying, what customers are saying, and then try to identify how can we solve customer problems as early as possible into the business course. So Blinkit using, uses real-time analytics for three purposes, experimentation, observability, and alerting. Observability is uh, we have our CXO dashboards, four of dashboards, pair of dashboards built real-time where all these all people from top leadership to ground folks can see what is happening in the business in any segment in real time. Experimentation is where we are making changes. Let's say we are changing some levers in the business and seeing how a customer is impacting to it, how a rider is impacting it. So we can see all those things in real time and revert if you know if, if you are seeing a bad impact. Third is alerting. If you are seeing some, let's say some cities having some problems, some stories having some problems, all those alerts are sent to us in real time using Pino as a source. Started Pino is the first technology we used for real-time analytics. Before that, uh, Blinkit was grow first and it was not a 15-minute delivery business. We could deliver uh, products in, in a day or two. So the requirements were not really there. And then we are like a very early adopter of Star Tribune. So uh, QPS is you around like 1,000 queries per second per server. And uh, initially, we had like tables which are going to terabytes of uh, data. But then we reduced the size by you know uh, reducing the retention of those tables to maybe let's say one month and then aggregating data before pushing it to Pino. So we have around 500 GBs of data tables in Pino as of now and we have like more than 50 tables uh, powering different use cases around the business. As Blinkit is a quick commerce business, it's, we need a lot of real-time data to action on it. Right? There are things that we need to take decisions on ground in real time. So uh, people are working on ground, there are a lot of fleets that are moving at real time. So we need some use cases that can be catered to data visualizations and information that we can post it to the people who are working on ground. This use case was one something that uh, I think Startree was one of the uh, enablers for us to make it happen. Team in Startree had, has been very supportive. Like. Uh, from day one, they have been very, very dedicated and uh, like initially we had some, thing, some issues when we were setting up things and uh, the whole team including the tech team, their cloud team and their support team were available on the call at any point in time and they helped us quickly stabilize our cluster, stabilize our requirements and then eventually we uh, you know, reached a state where we can you know, add more and more use cases without worrying about down, down times. So their team has really stood out there and you know, their dedication is something which I can really rely upon.